Montevetolini is a hamlet of Mansamano term in the province of Pastilla. The village still consists of the ancient fortress on top of a hill a few kilometers from Fasecchio. The fortification surrendered spontaneously to Florence at the beginning of the 16th century, and in 1597 Ferdinand I de Medici had the Medici Villa of Montevetolini built there, which incorporated the village. The rustic villa farmhouse, with a polygonal plan, was part of a vast reclaimed territory between the 16th and 17th centuries. Also called Monte Vettorino, the villa was built after 1597 on behalf of Ferdinand I de Medici on a high hillock on the slopes of Monte Albano, where there was a huge fenced and grand ducal hunting reserve, the so-called Barco Real. The architect Gerardo Macchini, a pupil of Bernardo Buontalenti, was commissioned to build it, incorporating some of the oldest structures of the ancient medieval village, in particular, a fortress and a stretch of wall. It was completed within the first 20 years of the 17th century and the result was a villa with a severe and compact appearance, with a polygonal plan, imposing on the surrounding territory, overlooking two sides of the valley, small windows and corner watchtowers. Its appearance, therefore, resembles more a defensive fortress than a villa for leisure stays and was the administrative center of the Medici estates in the lower Valdni of all. In various historical documents, we can see some details that no longer exist, such as the suspended watchtowers, the numerous chimneys and the two walled vegetable gardens, one with fruit trees and one with Italian-style geometric flower beds. The villa, often used by Ferdinand I, was sold by his nephew Ferdinand II with most of the surrounding land by an act dated the 17th of August 1650. Clearly visible now as then is the Church of San Michele Arcangelo and Lorenzo Martyr. The building is of ancient foundation. Modified in the 14th century and enlarged in the 18th century, it is flanked by a massive bell tower that was once the turreted door of the ancient fortified fortress. The proximity to the Medici Villa explains the presence of many works of the Florentine school inside. These include a Madonna and Child a painted panel from the first half of the 15th century, and a wooden crucifix attributed to the end of the same century. Behind the high altar there is a painting of saints by Tito, with the Madonna and Glory and Saints, signed and dated 1599. In the chapel to the left of the presbytery there is a Madonna with Child and Saints Lazarus and Sebastian, of the Florentine school of about 1480, attributed by some to Piero di Cosimo by others to the school of Filippino Lippi, and a contemporary Madonna with Saints Francis and Anthony, similar to the manner of Raffaellino del Garbo. The Assumption is attributed to Jacopo Cimenti and the Virgin in Glory to Francesco Curati. In Montevetolini there is also the Oratory of the Madonna of the Snow which, despite a very simple external structure, preserves a valuable Madonna with child and saints. Datable to the early 15th century. If you want to keep fit, know that you can count on numerous sports activities properly distributed throughout the territory as well as being able to take beautiful walks in the midst of lush nature. With many routes ranging from the simplest to the most challenging that extend from a few kilometers up to a few dozen and can be tackled on foot, mountain bike or horseback. You will discover breathtaking landscapes that cannot be transmitted but only admired and contemplated and in which you will feel immersed as you are no longer used to, rediscovering strong, ancient and true sensations. 
as real as the people who live here and who have grown up here, difficult to discourage, sincere and always ready to seize new opportunities. You can visit many of the historical activities present, coming into direct contact with the soul of the community and being able to better understand what has allowed the birth, development and livelihood of this hamlet and good reasons to look to the future with legitimate confidence. These tenacious and resilient people have been able to maintain traditional foods and to innovate by offering dishes that look to the future without betraying the roots of their land. If you add to this the traditional Italian quality, passion and hospitality, well, then you will be in the ideal place to find your balance and understand that you don't need great things to be happy. Hoping to have encouraged you to visit these wonderful places and to have suggested good reasons to better know this territory, I leave you all the useful links in description. See you soon. <laughs>